let's start with our breathing exercise. Find a comfortable seat and close your eyes. Start to notice your breath in and out through your nose. And then open your mouth to inhale slowly, making a bit of a sound. Exhale through the mouth. Once more like that, inhale. Exhale. Close your mouth, but try to make the same sound as you inhale using your whisper muscles at the back of your throat. Exhale. Inhale slowly. Exhale. Inhale. Hold it at the top. And exhale. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. One more time, inhale. Hold. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Hold at the bottom of your exhale. Inhale slowly. Try not to grasp for air. Exhale, hold at the bottom, observe your mind. Inhale. Last time like this, exhale. All the air out, hold at the bottom. Inhale. And exhale. Take the slowest, deepest breath you've taken so far today. A little bit more air and hold it. Open your mouth, exhale. Let your breathing return to normal. Keep your eyes shut and just observe your body and your mind for one more minute. to bring small movements back into your body. You can wiggle your fingers. Let your eyes open softly. And remember that if you ever feel yourself getting stressed out throughout the day, just take a minute or two and focus on your breath. It's a really easy way to bring yourself back and to relieve any anxiety and tension. Let's start in a comfortable seat. Close your eyes and just take a few moments to notice your body. Let's start with some gentle neck movements, dropping your right ear toward your right shoulder, and then back through center, and then left ear toward left shoulder, back through center. One more time, we'll hold it this time, right ear toward right shoulder. Breathe into the left side of your neck. If you want a little more, you can reach out through your fingers. Relax your jaw, relax your face. 
And finally, relax your shoulders. On your next inhale, slowly return to center. Exhale, drop your left ear toward your left shoulder. You can reach your fingertips away. Breathe into the right side of your neck. One more deep inhale. Exhale, relax your jaw, your neck, and your shoulders. Inhale, return to center. And exhale, let's make our way up to warm up our feet. This is gonna be a little strange if you've never done it before, but you're gonna cross one foot on top of the other so that the top of your right foot fits nicely into the arch of your left foot and then start to sit back onto your heels. You'll notice a nice sensation in the bottom of your left foot. You can readjust a little bit if you're not feeling anything. And just breathe into the sensation. Hip tightness can be shown in the feet, so by opening up the bottom of the feet, it actually helps to open up your hips, which is a nice trick to know as we move into different hip opening. Take a second to sit up, readjust your foot, see if you can find a new spot to sit back on. One more breath. And then come up, switch your feet, left foot on top this time, finding the nice spot in the arch of your foot and sitting back onto your heels. See if this side is a little bit different. Relax your shoulders. And try to take any tension out of your body. Coming up, readjust, see if you can find a new spot, and then sit back. Okay, one more stretch to open up the bottoms of the feet. Tuck your toes under. Just start to sit back toward your heels. You can keep your hands down on the mat, or if you want a little bit more, you can sit up, stretching out the bottoms of your feet, as well as your Achilles tendon here. Breathe, keep your low belly pulling up and in. Two more deep breaths here. Last breath. Good, and then release. Come back to a seat, extend your right leg, left foot comes in, seated tree pose or Janusha or Shasana. Beginning with a forward fold here, take your hands to your hip creases, inhale up and away from your hands, and then exhale, start to hinge forward from your hips, only moving so far that you keep your spine tall. If you can, you can begin to walk your hands further forward, but you can feel free to leave them on your hip creases. Flex your right foot towards you, take a deep breath in. Exhale, see if you can find a little more space to fold forward. A couple more breaths like this. Every inhale, finding extra length. And every exhale, folding just a little bit deeper, slowly moving into the right hamstring. Start to find a place where you can relax a little bit. Let your head relax. Three more breaths. Inhale to slowly come up. Cross your left foot over your right knee. Plant your right hand behind you. Inhale, reach up with your right arm. Exhale, make a connection with your arm and your leg and gaze over your back shoulder. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Two more, inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. 
and exhale. Returning to center. Extend your left leg. Bring your right foot in, seated tree pose, Janusharsasana. Wiggle your hips a little bit. Take your hands to your hip creases. Inhale up away from your hands and exhale, begin to hinge forward slowly. And remember, this is a great place to stay. You don't need to come any deeper into the pose. Everyone's expression of poses looks different and it's okay wherever you are today. Take another deep breath in to lengthen your spine. Exhale, flex the pinky toe edge of your left foot back toward you and find a little bit more depth. A few more breaths. Breathe into your left hamstring and try to relax your head and your neck. Last breath in. Last breath out. Inhale, slowly coming back up. Cross your foot over your knee. Plant your right hand behind you. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, make a connection and twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Coming back through center, let's take a forward fold. Extend both legs out. You can keep your legs together, or if you'd like, you can take your heels a little bit wider, making sure to flex through the feet. Again, bring your hands to your hip creases. Inhale up. Exhale, stay or start to hinge forward from the hips. Like you're tilting your hips up. You can bring your hands down wherever they wanna go. You can work your hips a little side to side. And then start to fold and relax. Breathe into your hamstrings, your low back and your sacrum and try to avoid rounding your spine too much here, continuing to lift your chest. Slowly start to inhale and make your way up. Bring your legs together, plant your hands behind you, and lift your chest up. Seeing if you can feel a nice stretch through the front of your shoulders and your chest, wide collarbones here. You can keep your chin lifted, or if it feels okay, starting to look up and back. I like to kind of keep my head a little bit lifted, not relaxing my neck too much here. It feels better for me. Take one more big inhale into your chest. Exhale, stay. And then slowly start to come back up. And we'll take butterfly, bring the soles of your feet together. Baddha Konasana. Again, I like to wiggle my hips a little bit just to find even placement of both hips. Inhale here. Exhale, see if you can start to hinge yourself forward. Again, you can wiggle a little bit. Breathe into your outer hips, inner hips. And find your edge. We'll hold for 10 deep breaths. Maintain your low belly pulling up and in, lifting your chest, widening your collarbones. See if you can find just a little bit more depth for the last few breaths. One more inhale. Open your mouth, let it go, exhale. And slowly make your way up. Let's find our way onto all fours. 
take your hands to face your knees, fingertips back, and just stretch out the back of your wrists. And sitting up, interlace your hands behind you, lift your chest, and just feel a stretch in your shoulders. Try to keep your ribs pulling in so it's not arching your back here to find the stretch. You can stay or if you want a little bit more, starting to hinge forward, placing your forehead down and stretching your arms up. One more deep inhale into your shoulders. Exhale, stay. And then slowly inhale, use your core to come up. And exhale, relax, release your arms. One more stretch. Still sitting back on the heels. Inhale, reach both arms up. Grab your left wrist with your right hand. Inhale, reach tall. And exhale, lean over to the right, feeling a nice stretch through the left side of your body. Take a deep inhale, reach all the way through the left fingertips. Exhale, go a little deeper. One more time, inhale. Try to keep both shoulders in one line. And exhale. Inhale, reach up, grab your right wrist. Exhale, over to the left. Inhale, reach through right fingers. Exhale, go just a little deeper. One more inhale. And one more exhale. Inhale to come back up. And exhale to release. All right, now we're done with the warm up. Let's meet standing. Bring your feet to a little wider than hip width. Toes can be slightly out, heels are slightly in. Take your hands into prayer and let's squat down as low as we can, keeping the heels down. So squatting down as low as you can and then coming back up. Let's do it five times. Coming down and up, four, down, up, three, down, up, two, last one, down, and up, and then let's go down and hold. Holding wherever you can for five, four, three, two, one. Interlace your hands behind your head, come up, pivot your feet to face parallel forward, and make a connection with your chest and your thighs here. Legs are parallel to the ground, chest is parallel, Bring your elbows up and feel the burn in your quads for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Fold forward, relax, release. Let your head and your neck relax. Shake it out. Nod your head, yes. Shake your head, no. And then plant your hands and step back into downward facing dog. Take a few breaths just to feel your body lengthening through your spine, keeping your knees bent if you like or working them straight. Hips are lifted, arms are strong and straight. One more breath. Step your feet together at the back of the mat. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, round and step it forward for a high lunge. Bring your arms up overhead. Straighten your back leg as much as you can. And then start to bend through the back leg, touch your knee down, and then come back up, straighten both legs. Bringing it down, touch your knee down. And then back up, straighten both legs. Two more, down. Up. Last one, down. and then fold over your front leg, pyramid pose here. It's okay if your back heel is lifted, just stretch the front leg.
One more breath. And then find your way back into downward facing dog. Step your right foot to the middle. Lift your left leg, inhale. Exhale, round and step it forward, high lunge. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, touch your right knee down. Inhale, straighten both legs. Exhale, down. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Coming up, straighten both legs. And then fold. Remember, it's okay if the back heel is lifted. Just keep the front leg straight, back leg straight, heel reaching toward the ground. Stretch into your left hamstring. And then step back into downward facing dog. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Gaze forward. And then make your way to the top of the mat. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Reach your arms up. And exhale to standing. Come to the middle of the mat here. Shift your weight onto your right leg. Take your right hand to your hip and your left arm out. Hinging from the hip, reach your left arm toward the mat while your left leg lifts up. Try to keep your body in a straight line. And then inhale to come up. Bend your leg and bring it up high. Touch your knee. Let's try that again, sweeping forward and down. Keep your right leg strong and straight, reaching down toward the ground, hip square, shoulder square. Coming up, touch your knee. One more time, hinging forward. And up, touch your knee. And then hinge forward and bring your fingertips to the mat. Now bend both legs, touch your left knee to your left, sorry, to your right calf. Inhale, straighten both legs. Exhale, bend and touch. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale. Last time, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, up. Find a stretch here. And then bring your left foot down. Inhale, stand up, reach your arms up. Exhale, arms down. Second side, left hand to your hip, right arm out in front of you, hinging from the hip, lift your left leg, reach your arm down toward the mat. Inhale, come up, touch your knee, lift your knee up high. Exhale, come down. Hip square, shoulders square, chest lifted. Inhale, up. Exhale, hinge. And then bring your fingertips down. Bend your knee, touch your knee to your calf. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, touch. Inhale, lift. Exhale, touch. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, straighten both legs, find your stretch. And then exhale, set your right foot down, walk your hands forward, step your legs back into plank, and then lower all the way onto your belly. Create a little pillow for your hand, for your head, and place your head down. Okay, working into glute strength now. Bend your right leg and try to get your heel directly over your knee foot is flexed. From here, take an inhale. Exhale, reach your, your heel toward the ceiling so that only your hip bone is pressing down. And let's pulse here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold it for 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, relax your right leg to the mat. 
Bend your left leg, flex your left foot so that your heel is right over your knee. Take an inhale. Exhale, lift your leg up, press your hip bone down, and pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold it up, lift it higher for 5, 4, 3, 2, one, and then relax it down. Place your head on your hands and breathe. Relax your shoulders. Awesome. Bring your heels together. Knees are still about hip width. They could be slightly wider. And then lift up here, pulsing here. Squeeze your heels together for 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Relax down and press back through child's pose. All right, moving on to one of my personal favorite exercises. Come to a seat and bring your legs out wide. Now this exercise is pretty challenging. The first time you try it, nothing might happen, but eventually you'll be able to do it easily, maybe. No promises. Frame your right leg with your hands. Your legs should be about 90 degrees here. If they're too wide, it's gonna be really difficult. If you need to take them in a little bit more narrow, that's fine to start. So frame your right leg. The closer your hands are to your body, the easier that this will be. If they're out further, it's gonna be harder. Press your hands down and lift your right leg. And let's do circles here for five, four, three, two, one. Switch directions. Five, four, three, two, one. One, relax. If you need to shake your leg out for a second. And remember, just because that wasn't happening today or if you couldn't stick with it, doesn't mean you won't be able to do it next week. Switching sides, frame your left leg. Prepare yourself mentally, you can do it. Press your hands down, lift your left leg and circles for five, four, three, two, one. Switch directions, five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Give yourself a little elbow, give yourself a little bit of love. One more leg exercise. Plant your hands down. If that exercise that we just did was really hard, sit back and bring yourself onto your fingertips. Now, the first time you do this, try to lift both legs, this might happen. Your legs might bend and your legs might shake like you're getting electrocuted. That's fine, it's where you start. But eventually your legs will stay straight and it won't be as bad. So hands or fingertips down, whatever you've got. Press into your hands and lift both legs up. Point your toes so hard and hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Relax, we'll try it one more time. Take a second, lean a little side to side. Whew. It does get easier, I promise. The cramping goes away, I promise. Just takes like six weeks. <laughs> All right, round two, plant your hands. If that was easy, walk your hands out a little further. If it was still hard, remember you can just rock back and lift here. That's fine place to start. Okay, plant your hands, lift your feet, point your toes so much, hold for five, smile, it makes it easier. Four, three, two, one, release. And just bring your feet into butterfly. Fold forward if you'd like. Cry a little tear, it's okay. <laughs> awesome job, you made it through leg strengthening. All right, let's get started. Make your way onto your back with your strap. And bend your right leg and slip your strap around the arch of your foot, grabbing wherever you can. If you're really tight, you're welcome to bend your left leg to help you get a little bit more slack 
in the right leg. But it's very important that you keep your right leg straight because if you bend your leg at all, you're taking the stretch out of the hamstring, which is where we want the stretch to be. Flex strongly through the right foot and breathe into the back of your right leg. We're gonna hold this for about a minute. So just stay here, try to find a way to relax and breathe. You can close your eyes. Back off just a little bit. See if you can flex your foot even more strongly so that the stretch goes all the way through the calf and breathe here. If you can bring the leg closer to you now, that's okay, you can do that. But just make sure that your leg is very straight and your foot is very flexed. The left foot can be relaxed, just hanging out on the mat. Relax your shoulders, relax your jaw. Three more breaths. All right, now take the strap into your left hand and cross your leg over your body just a little bit here so that you feel the stretch move into the outside of your right leg, your IT band. Keep flexing through your right foot. Two more breaths. Good. Back off, bring it back to center. Give your leg a bend for a second and then straighten it. Take your left hand to your hip and bring your right leg out to the side. Keep your left hip down. And breathe into the inner thigh of the right leg, your groin. A few more breaths. Inhale, slowly come back. Bend your right leg and then bend your left leg to thread the needle. You can remove the strap and interlace your hands behind your knee or behind your hamstring, whatever feels better for you. Flex through the right foot and breathe into the outer right hip. Use your breath to relax a little bit more. Release your left foot to the ground, cross your right leg over your left, and then just let your knees fall over to the left side of the mat. Try to keep both shoulders down. A few more breaths. On your next inhale, slowly come back and release your right leg to the mat. Grab your strap or whatever you're using and slip it around the left foot this time. If you did it before, bend your right leg. Otherwise, leave it out straight, relax your right leg. Flex strongly through the left foot and start to breathe into the back of your left leg. Close your eyes. And remember, you don't have to force anything. You just have to breathe and stay. And every day, you'll find a little bit more depth in the pose. And every day, you'll care a little bit less. few more breaths. 
Let's back off a little bit. Flex the foot even more strongly. Feel the stretch into the back of your left calf. And then see if you can bring the leg a little closer to you, keeping the strong flex in your left foot, feeling the stretch all the way through the entire left leg. Last breath in, last breath out, back off. Switch the strap into your right hand and let your foot come across your body. Feel the stretch into the outside of your left leg and breathe. Inhale, back to center, back off for a second. Find a little stretch. And then switch the strap into your left hand. Bring your right hand to your right hip to remind it to stay glued down. And then bring your left leg out to the side. Relax through the inner left hip. Make sure the right hip is staying glued to the mat, even if you need to bring your left leg up a little higher in order to do so. One more breath. Inhale, back up. Bend your left leg and come into your figure four. You can remove your strap if you don't need it. And then interlace your hands wherever is comfortable. Flex both feet and breathe into the outside of your left hip. Three more breaths, slow and deep breathing. Okay, cross your leg over and then let your knees fall to the right side. One more breath here. On your next inhale, come back up. Release your legs, hug your knees in, and rock and roll to make your way up. Cross your legs and come to all fours. You can move your strap out of the way. All right, step your right leg forward for a lunge. Now, when it comes to working specifically toward the splits, there are two main areas that need to be addressed. The hamstring, which we just addressed in the reclined poses, but now we need to address the front of the left leg. So finding your stretch here, all the way from the knee up to the low ribs, feel a stretch. Now, depending on your flexibility here, I'm going to show a more advanced variation. It might not happen today, but it might. If your knee is sensitive, you can always double your mat to put your knee on the mat to give a little extra padding. Now, eventually, I want you to grab the back leg. It starts here by just opening the chest, but eventually you can bring your heel in toward your butt. Now, don't rush this one. It's a little bit challenging on the knee. You want to find the spot that's in front of your kneecap so that you're not putting pressure directly on your kneecap. Breathe. If you throw a mudra in there, it makes it feel like you're really doing yoga. One more breath. 
and then release. Half split. But I want you to start to move toward a full split here. So you can start in your half split for three breaths, finding as much length as you like. But then as you're ready, I want you to start to work into more of a split. You can keep the front leg bent if that feels okay, or try to keep the legs straight. You can always use blocks underneath your hands if you need more height, but eventually working your way all the way down. But if you come all the way down and your back foot is doing something weird, don't come all the way down. It's not worth it. You want to keep your hips square here. Breathe into both the front of your left leg and the back of your right leg. Five deep breaths. Remember, the more you can relax and convince yourself that you love this, the easier it's going to become. Retraining your mind, that is the point. Doesn't matter whether or not you ever do the splits, but if you retrain your mind, that's the goal. One more inhale. One more exhale. And then slowly you can shift to the right side and release. Let's make our way back to all fours. Left leg steps forward for our lunge. First, just taking a few breaths. You can always support yourself with your hands, no big deal, no worries. Feel the stretch throughout the front of your right leg this time. And then if you tried it before, you can fold your mat up if you like a little extra padding, I do. Then see about bending your right leg. First, just grabbing it, feeling the stretch through the right side of your chest. And then if you want a little bit more to pull the heel in. You can throw in your mudra. One more inhale. And exhale. And release. Half split to start. Straighten your left leg. Three breaths. Okay, starting to work toward your split. finding wherever you want to hold and breathe. But remember, if you do try to come all the way down, check your back leg, make sure it's not being naughty. Make sure your hips are square, both hips are facing forward. And then breathe for five breaths, whatever your depth of the pose is. And remember, even though doing the splits might look cool, it doesn't make you a good person, but the work that you put in to get there will make you more humble and patient. And that, in turn, does make you a better person. Keep working your right hip forward, left hip back. Breathe, relax. Bubble bath face, so relaxed. It's like you're taking a bubble bath. Roll to the left side and bring your right leg forward. Take your hands behind you, find a little arch. Lift your chest. And let's fold forward. Just a gentle fold here, not forcing anything. You don't have to find your deepest forward fold. Let's actually point the toes for this one. And if you can reach your feet, stretch the tops of your feet. Still lengthening through the spine. So it's less about the hamstrings here, more about stretching the front of the ankles, working the toes toward the mat. I think pointed toes look pretty in yoga poses, so I like to stretch my feet. One more breath. And then flex your feet. Pull the pinky toe edges back specifically. You can rock your hips a little bit back. But try to avoid the habit of 
pulling the flesh away from your sit bones. It's okay to walk the hips back, but just don't pull the flesh away. Okay, five more breaths in whatever version of a forward fold you'd like. Finding as much length in your spine as you can. Inhale, look forward. Exhale to come up. And let's finish with just a gentle twist. Cross your right foot over your left knee. And then if you want a little more, you can bend your left leg as well. Try to keep both sit bones down. If you can't keep both sit bones down, just extend the left leg again. It's not a big deal. Okay, plant your right hand behind you. Inhale, reach your left arm up. And then exhale, make a connection with your elbow or your armpit and your leg. You can either keep your hand here, or if you want to reach it around to try to grab for the inside of your right foot, left, sorry, right hand can stay behind you or reach around behind you. Gaze over your right shoulder, inhale. Exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Slowly release. You can show girl, switch the legs. <laughs> or extend your legs straight if you did it before. Plant your left hand behind you this time. Inhale, reach your right arm up. And then exhale, make the connection. Try to keep both hip bones down. And then take whatever bind you did on the other side, whether you just kept your hand up or reached for the foot. Left hand can reach around behind you. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly release. Just find a comfortable seat. Close your eyes and thank yourself and your body 